who said that happened to me. <laughs> so I was up there getting everything rounded up for grease. And uh, Cutter come up there and his cutters broke down. She's dead. Don't know if it's alternator batteries. He was wanting to test her. Right when I was doing this, so I talked to him. Didn't have the right tester for him. So I said, okay, see you later. I was to here and I set this down on the bench and tried looking for some tools. Put her back in here. I've been staying here for a couple minutes trying to figure out why I can't get grease out. So that's what I'm doing right now. The weather's halfway decent. And uh, I start here, go down the boom to the bucket. Then I come back and uh, hit the clutch. There's one there in that lift cylinder. Uh, this one here. Then you go down there, the bearings, bearings, clutch, do everything on top. Then jump down, do this side, and then do that side. And uh, that's kind of how you do it. You do this here. That's kind of how I grease the thing. Start one, do one, do the top first, and then the sides. So it's, does, this chipper don't take long. Um, but yeah, that don't work like that real swell. I was playing, fiddling, fiddling, fiddling. If you know, you know. Everybody does it. Welcome back. A little cold out. It's not bad, actually. She's running 11 degrees, I think it said in the truck. So what we have going on, this old girl, this old caterpillar is giving a little bit of fits when you fire up. It fires up fine, runs fine. You go to rev it up, and she won't rev up all the way. Um, she dies. Goes runs down to about 1400 RPM and blows black smoke. Yada yada yada. So, figure we change these two here real quick and uh, it should take care of our problem. Should have probably wore gloves, huh? Yeah. I just like to do this uh, right now rather than in the, some morning when it's freezing cold out. I just seen a video. I was on TikTok and they had a cool little tool hooked to a DeWalt driver, impact driver, that clamped the bottom of this and spun it off. It's a pretty cool video. And then he'd use it to spin it back on and just gave it to her. Just da -da. yeah. <laughs> that was not cool. Um, if you've ever worked through them chips in there, if you've ever uh, worked around these before, hand tightens usually fine. Maybe slightly a little more, but uh, I've had them where if you don't, do it properly it's not pretty and you can't get them off and a screwdriver can't can't get them off and they're doing filters that big um, big huge oil filters when they don't come off uh, it's usually not pretty I had it happen on this machine once we had an old operator that decided to over tighten them for some reason and uh, yeah was not pretty. Not pretty at all. Just filling up the filter here. Give her the old chipper guy torque. 
<laughs> yeah, so that's about, but when you do this, say it's like uh, zero out, and you do it in the morning, and you're froze, and nothing will start, and yada, 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 it is the absolute most not fun if there ever was. So, you can add on these chippers, uh, this one's got a smaller tank, it's probably 300 gallons, the chipper at the shop's running 500, and I bet you the 2355's running 400, and you can add 911 and anti-gel all you want, but it ain't going to be enough to do anything, you got to do this, you can't, you can't add enough stuff to that get it to work so uh, doing it like this and you get a break and everything's warm it's not too bad preventative we've had them where they don't start it doesn't get the fuel that hot the new chipper that's got a PSI fuel PSI gauge on it so therefore you can tell if you have fuel pressure or not it's a good giveaway if you don't have any fuel pressure. You got some freezing going on. This old chipper obviously does not. So that's how long it takes to change fuel filters. So we need to fire it up, let it run a little bit, and uh, get any anything, any air, anything out of there. There's the old filters down there. I didn't throw them down or nothing. I don't do that business. <clears throat> so here we go. 